um, Electronic Arts has revealed as part of its uh, quarter three 2021 financial results that the next installment in the Battlefield franchise is on track to be released during this holiday season. Uh, EA commented on the nature of the title is an all-out military warfare, which points to the mainline franchise's first return to a modern setting since uh, 2013's Battlefield 4. Uh, some other information to come out of the financial reports are, includes that 62% of EA's sales have come from digital storefronts, so it's uh, eclipsing the traditional um, uh, physical media. And Apex Legends has increased in 30% in player growth. Um, I, I guess at least for the Battlefield par- portion of this, um, I haven't actively played it since... Me neither. <laughs> ever. <laughs> I've never played a Battlefield game. I... I- I think the spectacle of it and changing classes on the fly is cool, but I just kind of naturally steer towards, I guess, tighter multiplayer experiences where big number doesn't necessarily mean better. Yeah, I mean, you can get more tactical options versus a fucking shit show if there's like 100 people. One of my first favorite convention, like comic book convention memories, was at a Chicago comic book convention that EA randomly brought like the first like public scene demo of that was a battlefield three. It was, it was like one of the modern ones and we, and I got to go in and see, see like a dice developer play battlefield three. I don't think I was old enough to even see it, but they let me in anyway. So I was able to watch them play like an early demo that had some of the game's first early, like world destruction systems in it. Mm. So, like, they were, like, showing off, like, watch as we throw this grenade and this half of this building explodes. Like, it was, like, this crazy, like, mind-blowing tech. And um, I never played a Battlefield after that. They, they just never fully excited me. And I think it's just because the time periods that, that they've been set in have never really interested me a whole lot. So, but I'm jokingly, like, watch this be, like, Hardline 2 or yeah. something. <laughs> I liked Hardline. Hardline had a good campaign, and th- that was by Visceral, which was the same studio behind Dead Space. So I will give that team, rest in- yeah, rest in peace, yeah. Visceral. My, uh, you know, my friend Jamie always speaks very highly of like some of those Battlefield games. Is like there's really nothing quite like the multiplayer experience of some of those games, which is really cool that they fit into a unique niche there. And I wish that there were more stuff like them. I I think. So there's definitely been times where I appreciate like how massive those multiplayer matches can get, but like part of me feels and this this could be because I ha- the only one I like played Reese not recently but like just in terms of like when it came out would be Battlefield One, but I think when you compare Battlefield to like some, some of the other shooters out yeah. there, uh, it lacks a bit of personality like not not even the campaign just like the multiplayer I feel like you can mm-hmm. jump into like a Call of Duty multiplayer. And like, there's not necessarily a story. Maybe it's the presentation, the way things feel. It has its own personality and vibe to it compared to the, compared to Battlefield. The only thing I re- I remember yeah. about Battlefield One was people getting pissed that there was female soldiers in it. I think that was Battlefield <laughs> Five. Well, I, yeah, yeah, I believe that was Five. Yeah, it was whatever one that was set in World War Two, and people got pissed. Yeah, it's like why is there a lady here? And it's like, well, the women ran the rebellion efforts. That, that it's literal history like why are you mad about this <laughs> excuse me sir we want very hard realistic shooters that's why you can jump out of we an airplane and then know, snipe on it and do a 360 no scope 500 feet in the Funny. air when you see the compilation <laughs> we demand of alpha male shooters, damn it. Suites where they're saying like oh i don't like this battlefield battlefield's supposed to be a realistic shooter and then you you go back in time four years ago to one of their tweets where they're like, yeah, I don't really like Battlefield because it's a little too realistic, which isn't interesting to me. I mean, there's nothing more realistic than getting shot with a shotgun in the face and hiding yeah. behind cover, wiping the it's jelly just, off your if, face. If, if anybody, just, just if anybody hate women and move on, all right? Literally, Nexus, yeah. that's what I was going to say. You. I was like, <laughs> literally, like, if they use the excuse, oh, it's not realistic if this is blah, 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 insert very offensive take here um just say that you're sexist racist homophobic yeah, whatever it is it, just say on. you're a shit lord and please uh, my dispense time. yourself <laughs> dispense yourself in the nearest dumpster thanks also yeah. <laughs> i should make that comment where uh, i went like oh we demand alpha male shooters as i'm the person who talks about call of duty every single week i demand alpha male shooter <laughs> i mean i could go off on this huge giant diatribe so i think 
uh, how, how do I want to put this to, to like put it succinctly? The uh, fuck, how am I going to do this? The the people that that say they're anti censorship, like oh, you shouldn't censor a person's creative vision. They're the same ones that fucking complain about this bullshit. They're they're fucking hypocrites oh, to the fucking core. It's ridiculous. Oh, man. I, I could go uh, off. I'm going to hold off. Name <laughs> rhymes with the b- rhymes with the bordering cough cough. Oh, the quartering is a fucking piece of shit. Fuck you. No. Cough cough <laughs> cough cough. He's a p- oh, sorry. There's something. <laughs> there's something stuck. <laughs> Can't get it out. Uh, <laughs> oh oh well. fuck. Any any quick thoughts on e- the majority of EA sales being digital now? No. <laughs> it's not really. that surprising. Embrace the digital surprising. future. I mean, is that for recent reports or for for like the last couple of years? I mean, if we're just going recent, of course, it's all digital. Um, so this is just specifically for EA. I this might specifically be for their uh, third quarter 2021 oh, financial man. results. I say, man, my friend hasn't left the house in a year. Of course, all their sales are digital. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can sell Amazon stuff. I suppose. It's more of a hat. I mean, if you're I, getting it on Amazon, you might as well just get a code. I basically, these days, if I want, like, the box, if I if it's, like, a nice, like, special edition or whatever, or if it's a game I really, really want, I will get... Uh, the the physical edition yeah but if it's a game that i'm like kind of interested in playing Mm -hmm. and and it's not that big of a deal then i'll i'll buy it just really i don't even care yeah i think that's a conflict something something i really care about i'll get physical like i mean i'm not gonna get other than 14 actually that's not even true i got the physical edition of the last expansion it came with a disc that had a steam key in it It came with a case that had a steam key in it uh if it's a final (laughs) fantasy game i'm not gonna get that shit digital what are you talking about Uh, with the box yeah exactly like really really, really one's got two discs in it really really quick on that blaine couldn't be here this week but she did ominously tell me you know what to do so i am gonna do the thing blaine and i want to get in on a tangent about how Digital game, like digital PC games, still have plastic cases that still have a lot of like terrible recyclable trash in it. Please stop doing that. <laughs> You're killing the environment. Like games don't up. need a plastic box. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I, I wanted to get the Resident Evil um, mm-hmm. Eight Collector's Edition, but I don't want a physical copy. Like I just want the statue, whatever's in the collector's thing. So. Uh, I'm getting it on PC. As so I very awkwardly drink my cup of water as you say that. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm just getting the uh I'm just getting the deluxe edition. Um mostly because I have nowhere to put collectibles really. Pretty much all of our available shelving areas and surfaces are being taken up by other things. So <laughs> Well, Corey, that's because it's you're the ultimate the collectible. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> stop stop please please more more but stop let me open this thing you know is what was in this screen? thing i don't is have this... a webcam i don't know why i got a physical prop <laughs> this is the case the 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 little like the art on it it's reversible but it's the same on both sides there's a pay there's a place for a disc but there was like a piece of receipt paper with a steam key in it. why did i get why do i have this that sounds about right though it's, the art's really pretty on it, though. I will that's say. literally what you do, though. Really that's pretty. literally what you get. You get it for the case. Yosh- like, let's Yoshitake be honest. Yoshitake Amano the art. Only reason. A scary man with a big sword and a scary horse. Let's okay. see. Uh, wait, I wait, wait. actually do have a physical prop. I can't say anything. Here's <laughs> my pickup. Like, we can pick up the statue that came with it. Don't too. drop it this time, it. Sarah. I'm not going to drop it. That that that's a very meta joke. Don't go digging I, for I my. Still, I still have that channel. blooper video I can put no, up. No. <laughs> but no, like I can't say anything. Wow does the same thing. Yeah. They release their collector's editions and they have like a fancy piece of paper in it. Yeah. Like here's your Shadowlands code. Have fun. So I can't say anything because I have two of these fucking things. Yeah, so, I, I got think, a fancy think, book and a cool statue of a scary man I, with a big sword. I think I actually think Did you mean last... a hot man with a big sword. <laughs> I, from a certain point of view, sure. I actually think the last. Don't give me PC, that Obi Wan shit. Um, I think the last PC, uh, what's it called, disc based game that I actually bought. God, well, well, I think it was World of Warcraft that I actually bought the disc for. Um, oh or God, maybe that it was, was maybe. 
Oh, you know what? Maybe it was the first StarCraft or something. I, I, don't I will even say remember. Blizzard goes all out on like their boxes for the PC. Oh, like, you open it, it's like, this just feels beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, look at this. Like, look at like the yeah. shininess on it. Like, this but, thing's nuts. I mean, <laughs> thing with the 14, when I got the box, it's got like the beautiful Amano art on it. But I now so have talented. a PC that, like, I mean, disk drives for PCs are pretty irrelevant now. So. I don't yeah, even have like, one in mine. Yeah. Oh, well, I still look got one, this. baby. Look I'm at never this. All, they go all out on their, on their, like, collector's editions just for a piece of paper in it that says, here's your code. And for oh, a mouse wow. pad and uh, book. Paradise yeah. Island says back when they had really bad internet, they bought the physical copy of GTA 5 for PC and it had like nine discs. Are you oh serious? Oh my god! I'm happy, I'm happy she said that in chat. I was about to I was about to say, shout out to my friend Elena buying the physical copy of GTA 5 <laughs> for PC. It was even weird on um the seventh gen of consoles, which is a 360 generation. Did it um if you had like a regular what what did they even call that version 360? I had like a, a 13 gigabyte hard drive where if you had that, you just couldn't install it because you needed a bigger hard drive. It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. It's like when you torn some legally torn something and you have these legal things that you got from torrenting it, and it's it's like multiple RAR files, and you're like, what do I do with these so i put them together you put them in the same folder and they work how does that i don't understand mm-hmm. 